No, I don't, I don't subscribe to the theory of evolution at all. I don't think it's true. I don't think it makes sense. I don't think it stacks up. If evolution was a continual process, then surely by now, bananas would be round, wouldn't they? <laughs> or straight. I don't know which way they were going. They're either going that way or like that. Maybe going back round the other way. Who knows? Yeah. Frogs would have made their mind up. Lake or land, time to choose. You know? <laughs> We'd have grown another thumb, definitely. We'd have definitely grown another thumb, wouldn't we? Because how useful is that? Uh, four fingers and a thumb. It's incredible the dexterity you can do with that. Surely by now we'd have another thumb coming out of there. So a single human hand would look like that. <laughs> Imagine the amazing things you could do with two thumbs on each. I mean, obviously, it'd make groping a lot more thorough, wouldn't it? But <laughs> You could carry six pints and tweet at the same time, couldn't you? <laughs> and don't tell me we're related to monkeys. Sorry, I won't have that. Don't tell me we're related to monkeys. No, sorry. Because I'll tell you what, I was on a flight recently, and the hostess, hostess made a request. She said, anyone on the flight's got any peanuts on their possession, please don't open them and eat them. I said, someone on the flight with a severe peanut allergy, you'll cause them a great deal of harm and distress. Can you imagine a monkey with a bag of peanuts agreeing to that request? <laughs> like another monkey goes, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that monkey would do whatever the monkey equivalent of fuck off is, wouldn't it? He'd go, ooh. Because they're bastards, monkeys. They don't give a shit about each other. If one monkey's ill, his neighbour doesn't come around and see how he is. He tries to have sex with his whole family. <laughs> if you could explain Jimmy Savile to a monkey, they'd see him as a role model. <laughs> Horrendous creatures. We're not related to them. And also, I've never seen an episode of Who Do You Think You Are, which goes right back to the monkey ancestors, so I'll rest my case. <laughs> I accept I'm not a scientist, I know I'm not a scientist, but what is a scientist? It's just somebody who thinks about stuff, then chooses to back up their thoughts with evidence and facts. Only difference between me and a scientist. I don't feel the need. <laughs> I'm not so insecure, I need to back up what I say. I just say it. Dah. And I've been forced into this position by my children. I've got three children, three young children, and they ask me questions all day long about everything under the sun, you know? And I don't know a lot of stuff. I really don't, you know? I don't, I don't know. I, I read a lot, but usually when I get to the interesting bit, I remember something embarrassing, go, eh. <laughs> And they ask me questions about science and things like that. You know, for a while, I thought a house was being haunted by my old physics teacher. <laughs> and he's just going around the house going, ooh. Ask your dad about magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Good use of a ghost in a joke, I feel. Um... <laughs> Thank you. And they'll come up to me and ask me about magnets and gravity. Now, I, don't, I can't explain them, but I don't like saying I don't know beats me, ask your mum. It wears away at my self-esteem. So I just lie, I make shit up, you know. <laughs> And they'll say magnets. I'd go, well, magnets. Um, you know when you go to school in the morning and some kids you're pleased to see, other kids you're not that bothered about? Metal's a bit like that. <laughs> and they're happy with that, you know. They're, 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 yeah. Gravity, gravity. Oh, yeah. You know when an apple falls out of a tree, it creates a force that sends the birds up in the air. Because <laughs> apples are heavier than birds, as we all know, because birds are made of feathers. Everyone knows that. Solid feather right the way through. And the Earth's got a core. That's right, it's got a core. It's trying to get all the apples back. <laughs> to make cider for God. That's right, yeah. <laughs> a verb, a verb. I think that's an old Cockney word for a tenor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that slag owes me a verb. <laughs> yeah, George, put a verb on that horse for us, will you? They asked me about Velcro. I've got this vague notion it's got something to do with the Apollo missions. I said, Velcro grows on the moon. It grows on the moon, yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's moon grass. That's what it is, really. Yeah. That's why the astronauts walk like that. <clears throat> <sighs> 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 I 
I just, I just don't know. I don't, even, I don't even understand how yogurt works. I don't understand it. It's off and it's got bacteria, but it's good for you. What the fucking what? <laughs> dry cleaning. I've been going to dry cleaners for years. I don't know what the fuck they get up to in there. I don't know. <laughs> I just go in there, there's a funny smell, I sort of trust them. I don't know what shit you guys are getting up to, to be honest, I don't want to know. As long as my clothes come back clean, I'll keep stum, but... Um, doesn't smell right, does it? Doesn't smell good. <laughs> Look at your eyes, they're all red around the edge, aren't they? Your skin is peeling off. I'd get out of here now, if I were you. Like the other day, I was putting sun cream on them. They said to me, how does sun cream work? I said, I said uh, it's invisible clothes made of cream. There we go. <laughs> factor 20 is a T-shirt, factor 50 is a duffel coat. <laughs> But the questions keep coming and they get madder and madder. Dad, why can't we smell noises? What? Oh. <laughs> if we could see our face in water, can we drink mirrors? <laughs> so what I do is I just lie. I just lie, you know, and it makes me feel better about myself and um, I'll save on university fees, you know, so. <laughs> But there's a theory of parenting that you should never lie to your kids. You know, there is a theory that you should never, ever lie to your children, apart from Father Christmas, the tooth fairy, and how hot the food is, you know, which is... <laughs> it's fair enough, isn't it, if they've been giving you a difficult day? It's a bit of payback. <laughs> those fish fingers, yeah, they've been out for a while now, yeah, work away on those, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new smacking, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> It's perfectly legal, they can't touch you, I've checked. <laughs> but there is a theory, apart from that, you should never lie to your kids. Now, I lie to my children all the time. One night I was putting my daughters to bed, she said, Daddy, are there monsters under my bed? And I said, yes. <laughs> oh, there's terrible monsters under your bed. Oh, you don't want to bump into those fellas. <laughs> and if you put your feet down on the bedroom floor at any point, they'll reach out, grab your ankles and drag you under the bed. <laughs> And they'll take you off into like a labyrinth of turds and wasps. Ah. <laughs> and he's on duty till seven o'clock in the morning. Seven o'clock. <laughs> seven o'clock. Seven. <laughs> so if you wake up quarter to seven, just wait 15 minutes before you come and disturb your mummy and your daddy. <laughs> in fact, I think he's, he's coming on duty now. Oh. <laughs> Stay on the bed, stay on... Uh, get out of it, you... Uh, uh. Stay on... Pass me Mr Tiddles. Get out of it, you... Get, uh, uh. Stay on the bed, stay on the bed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>